Hi guys. Um, today I'm gonna do a video about what I've been doing yesterday and today. Um, the Spider Week project. I have been taking a little break <clears throat> because I wanted to do a few things um, for my Etsy shop and also for some friends. And I've been very busy throughout the week, and I only have a few hours to to play with clay and do some art. Um, <clears throat> <clears throat> I'm sorry. So let's start by showing you all the little steampunk things that I did. Um, let's start with this little guy over here. He's finished and glossed and everything. This guy is a chameleon. And then again, this little guy is inspired by Christy Friesen. God, I hope I'm saying the right last name because I don't know how you say it. But anyway, it's inspired by her. It's very steampunk. Uh, I included a lot of metals and try to make it as steampunkery as possible. It has a little hook, so either you can hang it on or something like uh, I don't know somewhere in your purse maybe, you know, or. You can put in a chain. It could be a pendant. Um, <clears throat> for my taste, it's a little big as a pendant, but you can do that. Uh, like with a long chain, I don't know, something like that. But um, I think he came out really cute. Um, I like chameleons. They're very interesting. And you know, chameleons change colors, right? So he's kind of greeny, goldish. Kinda. I gave him a little bit of um, acrylic touch so he can be goldish like that and um, all the pieces I had to uh, experiment trying because this is like a regular like regular shiny metal and I had to experiment with some of the stuff I got the other day remember and the other video, like, see how shiny these are? So, I bought the other day um, a rub and buff gold paint. But I returned it because I tried it out and I didn't like it. So, Christy Friesen always is talking about something called patina. And I found this rub and buff patina. Um which is the same brand that I bought before the difference is that this is a different color and what it gives you is like this color over here so the results are this look at this this is the same or similar screw that was like this shiny and I paint it with this patina and a mix of black and this is the result I have other pieces here I was working on so you can have an idea on how this thing works <clears throat> so it's kinda like old look to me when I saw this it looks like more like this thing went on the water and got messed up <laughs> that's, that's the feeling I had when, when I finished doing this it was like okay so, so, let me see if I can get it closer. You can see it. Let's see. And look, this is this is wood. This is wood. This is the effect on wood. So this is metal. See? It really looks old. And this one was metal too. See, you can see in the back still a little bit shiny because I just was experimenting to see if I could oops I got focus okay I don't want to focus but anyway um <clears throat> the um the results are amazing I I I like this one much better than the gold one I, I don't know, I might have to 
I don't know. I'm gonna have to play more with the gold one, but I return it, and I, uh, with the same money, I got this one because they were the same price. So that's a good thing to have, guys. If you wanna make something look like underwater, old, and uh, since all these steampunk things, they have to look like old. That's the only thing I could come up with. I think it came out really good. The chameleon is awesome. So, okay, then we have uh, a dragonfly. Look at this. Look at the details on this guy. This was fun to make. And uh, then again, this is something inspired by Krista Friesen. Uh, she has a, a book called Steampunkery, which is um, very cool. And it shows you how to do all these things, and and I love it. I love it. I love it. So I, I can't wait to implement all the techniques I learn on this little guys with my dragons. I was going to do a dragon, but I really don't have time today. Um, i got to work on some other things. And... Uh, and this guy over here is supposed to be a gargoyle. I This one I haven't finished yet. And the reason why is because I'm in a hurry right now. <laughs> but I wanted to show you guys my results. She has a, um, a gargoyle um, on the book that shows you the techniques how to do him. But... I kind of change him a little bit because the one that she makes is more like to hang it on a pocket of, of your clothes or a hat or something like that. And I said, no, I want to make something more like his standing. So I, hers is more skinnier. I kind of make this little guy shovey. So he looked like funny. And uh, it's a funny gargoyle in my opinion. <laughs> uh, long arms, you know, short, short feet legs um i added more of those little steampunk things that i had i i think he came out pretty nice and then i haven't like i said i haven't finished i have to gloss him and probably paint him a little bit to give him more in depth and i make him his little chilled look at this then again with this Patina, rub and buff, I did this. This was shiny as, as a screw. So I, I kind of went ahead and, and applied the technique. Like then again, remember, is the patina mixed with black and this is the result with black acrylic. So with the things that I found the other day outside, I make him a shield. So this is going to go right here. Isn't that cute? He's going to have his, <laughs> his little Corona shield. I think he's cute. And it's going to come out really, really nice. Right, let me show you again. Turn him around so you can see the details. This one gave me... A little bit of work because the way she makes things is not the way I'm used to make like my busts and the dragons and all that so I kind of have a little bit of hard time doing him but I guess if I can make another one I can you know do it better than before because now I got more knowledge on how to make all these little things and this and, and you know like the belts around him and everything I think once I put acrylic on him, he's going to look amazing. So that's the gargoyle. And I want to show you really quick again uh, s some of the things I was working on, which was this card, not this one, this card over here I showed you the other day. I went ahead and uh, kind of include a little bit more. Um, ink. I, I don't have any of that stuff so I went back to the store when I got the patina rub and buff 
and and I got a dollar it was just a dollar red ink and I had a coupon again for 40 percent so I got the uh, Tim Holtz um, another ink which was black uh, to make this effect because the one that I show you before was um, like um, brownish color this so I, I I I said I needed a black so if I want to stamp black things like um, I don't know like like it would look more like a newspaper or something so I thought about it so that's why I got the black but I I also kind of went ahead and did some of the edges of this card with the black and this is the result so the idea I got for this guys is I'm gonna give this card to someone very special um, I just um, message him or he messaged me on Facebook right now and he has he said he has a, a surprise for me I can't wait and see what it is um, I know what it is <laughs> but I'm not gonna tell you I think I'm gonna do an open box uh, video about it uh, because it I know what it is and I'm like in shock I, I, I when he told me about it I was like <gasps> no way and this is the second time he does this and I'm like oh no I need to do something for him I hope he doesn't watch this video though this is between me and you guys viewers um, because as a um, as a gesture of thanking him of everything he has done for me or at least the things he has given me I want to give him back something and I'm gonna give him this card with a personal note which I haven't wrote yet I'm gonna write it down now like in a few minutes with my alien bust I think he is going to love it because he is a huge fan of collecting stuff like you have no idea guys I've never seen somebody that I mean I like collecting stuff and if you see my stuff you will go like wow but this guy uh-uh he has like I, I cannot even tell you what he, he has so many things and he loves transformers he's a guy that loves um Captain America that type of stuff and the reason why I'm giving him this alien first of all because I made it he doesn't know I think so because I haven't talked to him I don't know but I think he doesn't know I do this kind of stuff I don't know I don't know if he has seen because I don't know I have no idea but I'm telling you right now I don't think he does and he likes this kind of you know sky fi things and his surprise is related to sky fi things so what better to bring him something that he's gonna have and he can put it up somewhere in his collections of stuff because he has so many different stuff um i don't know i i hope he 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 likes it and he can put it up somewhere in his place in his home so that's for that and then like I love the tag idea I love it so I made these three tags you see what I mean about pressing the stamps with black this is this is the result this is, this is why these three are the same thing <clears throat> and uh, I made this one for three of my super friends that I miss them a lot because I don't freaking them anymore and I'm gonna send this to them through the mail and the three of them are, are gonna have the same message and they know and they're gonna know exactly what I meant by writing what I what I have in mind so there you are guys I mean I've been very busy uh, like I've done this like um, my last hours at night trying to get everything up so I can deliver it Saturday so so hopefully all these people will have those their things on next week so well this is my video for today uh, please rate comment and subscribe and if you and if you like this um, just let me know and thanks for watching